Is it true that the Indian subcontinent was first called Sindh? Later it became Hind because the Persians could not pronounce Sa. Let's go to the map to understand what really happened. Where is the map? Here's the map. One second. Let's me, let me zoom out of Israel. Okay. Maps. Come on. Where's the map? Here it is. I'm not sure why it's showing me the night side. Okay, here, where we are. Let's put the actual map on. Okay. So the question is, is it true that the Indian subcontinent was first called Sindh? No. The Indian continent subcontinent was called Jambudweep or Aryavart. That's what the Indians called it. Now, where does this term Sindh come from? Come, come from? It comes from the river Sindhu, which, the, which is now called Indus in the English language, the Sindhu River. So it's the river that flows through ancient Meenanagar, present-day Karachi, uh, if I am not mistaken, somewhere here. Eh? So the river, its, it, its original name was Sindhu. Now you are right that the our, our Persian cousins or Persian cousins could had a different way of pronouncing the language. The old Persian language was nothing but a version, a slightly distorted upper branch version of Sanskrit. The pronunciations were different. So instead of sa, they would say ha. Right? Uh, so instead of sindh, they would say hindh. And the Greeks and other foreigners who came to India, they came through Persia. And when they would have conversed with the Persian friends of ours, the Persians would have said, yes, yes, Hind, Hind, over there, Hind. Yeah, eastwards. So that's how all the foreigners started calling India Hind. That's how it happened. It happened because the Persians called this region the region of the Sindhu River, but they called it the Hindu region or the Hind region. And that's how the term India came into the picture which was a further corruption of Hind into India or whatever. So that is the story in brief, how India, India came to be known as Hind, because our Persian cousins could not pronounce, pronounce Sa. Even in Western India, there are certain places in Gujarat, Rajasthan, where even today, instead of Sa, they say Ha. So there is some, some, some of that in India as well. 